Yeah, well, hello everyone. Welcome back. It's uh, Sunday, August the 25th. Um, this one's a little bit different from what I've been filming. It's actually, uh, I was told from what they were saying, uh, it sounds like a bumblebee nest uh, in their front yard uh, under some uh, shrubbery and they actually were doing some work. Uh, the customer's allergic. Um, they don't want to take any chances and uh, bumblebees can uh, be very aggressive and a uh, stinging hazard. And uh, for the record, I don't remove honeybees. Um, Honeybees, um, I refer to a beekeeper, and then they can uh, relocate them, save them. Bumblebees, I save them if I can, uh, but sometimes they uh, need to be killed. It just depends on uh, the situation. Um, but no, I don't touch honeybees, but bumblebees I do remove. Um, not a whole lot. I don't get a whole lot of calls for them, and I don't think I've filmed any uh, bumblebee removals. It's actually been a while since I've uh, removed a bumblebee nest, but if uh, this turns out good and you know I get to the nest and... Uh, the film, the video turns out good. I will uh, share it with all uh, my loyal viewers on YouTube. Um, so we'll uh, see how it goes. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon. All right, so you can see uh, one of the bees right there. It is a bumblebee nest. And what happened here is uh, I'm actually redoing this section. So the customer threw some dirt down. There's a dead one there. So. It'll involve some digging. They threw about, um, you know, several shovelfuls of dirt down. It upset the bees, and underneath them are some bricks. I was told there were just some bricks laying around, so the nest could be right under the bricks, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to have to move, start here where I see the entrance, and then there's also just like cloth sod, cloth stuff um, that it's associated with. So hopefully it's uh, in this general area. I should mention I got uh, some new gloves, uh, the Guardian uh, fully ventilated gloves. So I've got fully ventilated uh, suit. Um, so I'll see how these gloves are. It's got like five layers of mesh. Ventilated is the way to go if you don't have ventilated. Um, you're living in the past because this is the new standard. If you're working uh, like me for, you know, you could be in a suit for an hour or so, um, you're gonna wanna be comfortable. And this is actually a heavier material so it's you're less likely to get stung wearing ventilated. So just, uh, see I'm gonna, which will make YouTube, but you know, like I said, I could be digging for a little bit. Start off with uh, the hand shovel, and then I'll move to the bigger stuff if the bigger shovel if I need it. Pretty busy. Bobies don't have the constant activity, but um, they can still uh, be pretty busy. Once I get into the nest, they're gonna they're gonna be aggressive. So I got the fog ready, the vacuum's ready, the fog's ready. Two cans here. You can kind of see them right there. Hopefully the nest is close. They can sometimes be like a foot underground and like three or four feet from the entrance, but hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully it's directly under this cloth. So I'll find out. There it is. Holy cow, it's right there. They're gonna be pests. And they do cling. So, found the nest.
trying to get a piece of me. They do cling, like I said, they're thicker bodied than yellow jackets. They're a little bit stronger. So they can really push into you, almost like a bald-faced hornet. You can hear, really hear the humming. One thing I noticed about bumblebees is they kind of, when they're being attacked, like in their defense, they kind of like lay, like go on their side, like that one right there. Mm. Kind of like lay on their side with their hind leg, kick out their hind legs, mm. and they go on their back. You can see it's kind of laying on its belly right there. That's what they do when they're like, I notice that when you disturb a bumblebee nest. This is Bombus impatience. I don't mm -hmm. know what that, that is. You can see that one doing the same thing. I just feel bad doing this, but like I said, they need to redo their garden. I see them swarming. They do, bumblebees do sting. There's a rumor that people say, like, not a rumor, I should say, but a, an idea that bumblebees don't sting, but they do, in fact, sting, and they can sting multiple times. Kind of draw the numbers down. And they don't move as fast as yellow jackets, so like they're a little bit easier to vacuum up.
pieces of the nest. It's a piece of they have wax bubbles. See some more of it there. That's what a bumblebee nest looks like. Kind of just disorganized clumps. Worker bees uh, produce uh, wax and then they uh, lay the eggs in like a kind of a club. The queen lays an egg, eggs in a, like clumps basically. This nest looks like it was pretty much done anyway, so not that bad. Got it. Pretty much the season's complete for for, the, for this colony. Don't see the queen. The original queen may have died. It looks like everything's pretty much hatched out for this nest. So it's a good thing. I don't even see any new queens, so maybe even all the, the new queens left. So the colony was pretty much successful. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of the, the hole. Yeah, this is uh looks like it was a bunch of pine needles or something like maybe it was an old rodent burrow or something but this is uh what a bumblebee nest looks like all right that's about it thanks for watching august the 25th 2019 bye bye just hatch out they're pale colored uh, compared to a uh, mature adult, it's more yellow. It just brought back pollen. They do store their own food, unlike wasps, because they use uh, they don't feed on insects. They don't feed their brood insects, so uh, the pollen uh, and nectar uh, can be preserved. And then they they stay in the nest for a few days, and then they get their coloring. But I don't see any queens or anything. So, I, like I said, I think this nest. Uh, reach maturity. It's a successful colony. Interesting thing here, you can kind of see them digging, trying to cover up the nest already. Can use their legs to kick up uh, pieces of uh, straw, pine needles or whatever it is, and cover up that wax comb.
there. Kind of gathers that pine duff, pine needles, and covers up the nest. They're cute, cute little things. They don't hunt under other insects, they just feed their young uh, pollen and nectar so they can store food on like wasps that feed on, you know, insects. Uh, so food that protein, that meat, would, uh, that insects would spoil so they can't store food. The wasp cannot store food, but the bees, since it's pollen and nectar, they can actually produce a honey to actually save inside the nest. Strictly vegetarians, these bumblebees. Digging up there, that one there, covering up the nest.